Welcome to the first lecture in an introduction to real analysis. The topics that we will explore in this lecture include a brief overview of analysis, a review of logic, and an introduction to proof. Okay, so we'll start with an overview of analysis. Analysis is the study of functions. especially those representing continuous change in a particular space. That space could be a real coordinate space. And this is the domain of real analysis. The space could be a complex coordinate space. And this is the domain of complex analysis. Or the space could be an arbitrary vector space. That does not necessarily coincide with any coordinate space and this is the domain of functional analysis. Now in this introduction to real analysis, we will focus on real valued functions of a single real variable that is a function mapping the real line back into itself now this should be familiar territory, but we will look at functions in more detail than is typically encountered in pre-analysis courses such as calculus. For example, a function is a special type of relation, and so a real-valued function of a single real variable is a subset of the Cartesian product of the real line with itself, which is the real plane. And so typically, the graph of such a function is a curve in the plane that is a one-dimensional object that lives in a two-dimensional space. Now, analysis focuses on analytic properties of functions for example limiting behavior both as we approach a particular point and as we approach positive or negative infinity. Continuity 
is a function defined and does the value of the function agree with the limit at a particular point or for all points in a given interval. Differentiability. which is about linear approximations of the function. Smoothness, which relates differentiability and continuity. Integrability, which especially for definite integration is about aggregate behavior such as the area or volume contained uh, by the limits of a function and other limiting points or surfaces. And especially for sequences and series, convergence. Analyticity. That is, whether or not a function can be represented by a convergent power series for every point in its domain for some neighborhood of that point. And probably a new topic, measurability, the concept of a measure allows us to extend integration over sets more complicated than closed intervals. Now historically, calculus preceded analysis and analysis began as an effort to establish a strong theoretical foundation for calculus Modern analysis is part of the core theoretical framework or many fields of mathematics. For example, the theory of ordinary differential equations, the theory of partial differential equations, probability theory, analytic number theory, ergodic theory, and optimization theory. And so analysis has many, many applications.
analysis is one of the four main branches of mathematics. along with topology, geometry, and algebra. Now the combination or confluence of these four main branches of mathematics yields some very interesting subdisciplines. For example, the using the tools of analysis to study topological spaces is known as differential topology. Using the tools of algebra to study topological spaces is known as algebraic topology. Using the tools of analysis to study geometry is known as differential geometry. And using the tools of algebra to study geometry is known as algebraic geometry. Now in this introduction to real analysis we will need some necessary concepts from topology. One of those is the concept of open and closed sets. We'll look at why it is that certain theorems require that the domain of the function be either an open or a closed set, usually an open interval or a closed interval. And we'll look at another concept known as compactness. We will also, of course, study the algebra of functions in our study of functions. And we will often see that the theorems have very beautiful geometric interpretations. Now, in the United States in particular, analysis is considered the most difficult course in the undergraduate mathematics curriculum. And the reason for this is not so much the concepts, most of which uh, were encountered in calculus, or at least a great deal of them encounter in calculus. The real difficulty lies in the level of rigor required to study analysis and to establish facts about functions. And so before we begin a proper study of real analysis, we will review logic and techniques of proof so as to strengthen the skill set that is necessary to analyze and construct valid proofs.